So what's up you guys? Um, I meant to make a video about my truck the other day, but forgot to, uh, or Tahoe, not truck, but I installed the uh, hub assemblies um, and I was gonna show you what they came in, what the box looked like, what they came in. I have the part number, so that's not a problem. I kept my receipts, which I always do, but title of this video is going to be that the Tahoe let me down because it did <clears throat> so the day and I apologize for the wind but the day that I put the hubs back on and went and started driving it put the whole front end back together a coolant line busted <clears throat> and for the people that have these Tahoes you know which one I'm talking about so my Tahoe has rear heat and AC so it has auxiliary heat which is what these two lines are for that's the heater core right there. That's what that big line is and that smaller one. Um, the line that goes right here, that's closest to the passenger side, like towards the coolant reservoir, um, that line busted. And these are the OEM hoses. I'm gonna show the part numbers on them just so that way people can see them. And I have them put up on Amazon also. But <clears throat> this is the smaller hose. This is the one that actually busted. So this hose goes from, <clears throat> it goes from, let me try to fix it. It goes from the inside right here. Uh, this is kind of hard to do, but it goes right there to the hose, the part of the heater core and it connects to this. There's a plastic T that goes right there that looks just like that one. And then it goes down there to the skinnier, there it is right there, that uh, port right there on the water pump. And the plastic connector that's on this side broke. So it looks like this. And it broke on me. This is the other hose and I have the part numbers for it too. Um, and that's the part number right here. The 157-92-822. And then I'll show this one again. <clears throat> These are both OEM parts. They're not anything else. So, but uh, nothing's wrong with this one. But I figure if this one is going to break just like this one, I might as well replace both. So, uh, this one I'm replacing because it's broken and damaged. This one I'm replacing because it's 16 years old. Um, and see, this is the kind of stuff that happens when you have a 16 year old vehicle. Um, you're going to have parts that start to fail once you start replacing more parts. That's just how it goes. Um, but I'll show the part numbers. So this is the part number for the uh, wheel speed. I mean, not the wheel speed sensors. The hub assemblies. It's the Tim, because they are Timken. The TIM SP500-300. Because there's my two hubs right there. This one... The studs are fucked up because I had to. That's the passenger side hub. That's the driver's side. The driver's side is uh, worse for wear. It has a lot of play in it. The passenger side had wear in it too. Um, I rounded off the lug nuts on accident because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> so I had to drill them out and fix and get them out. But as you can see, we're all good to go now. So, but anyways, um, I bought the hub assemblies off of Rock Auto. But that's the part number. I had the boxes, but I threw the boxes away. So, and then <clears throat> the part numbers. So this is the uh, hose that goes from the water pump to the overflow tank or surge tank, which is that big one right there with the T on it. Um, one part of it hooks to the big part right there on the water pump. And then the other part of the hose hooks uh, right here on the surge tank and then the other hose goes to the firewall <coughs> uh, for the uh, heater core but that's the hose that's how much it is and it is a genuine part and I'm not buying no Dorman bullshit because they like to fail everybody knows about Dorman's parts so this is one of the T's this is for the uh, this is the T for the heater hose I just showed you that has the that goes to the surge tank. This is a genuine part. 
and I'm also showing you how much they are so that way everybody knows and I'm leaving it on there so you can pause the video and then this is the T that actually broke on me uh, this is the part that broke on me so but Dorman does make these and they are a little bit cheaper but I'm not buying Dorman stuff if the genuine if the General Motors parts can last 16 years I'm going to put genuine GM parts back on my vehicle but this is the hose that broke on mine it broke right there um, it, this part actually broke inside or broke on the T connector so I still have this crimped ends left so <clears throat> but that's how much that is um it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not really going to show how to put that on. Just like I didn't show how to put the uh, hub assemblies on. There's videos about that. There's probably videos about this. Well, there is videos about this. Um, this coolant line busted when I was driving. So it did get hot fairly quickly. Uh, if your vehicle does do that, you need to pay attention to your gauges and pull over immediately and shut the engine off. Um... I legitimately was not even five minutes from my house on the highway, so I had to pull over. Uh, one thing to try to dissipate heat, um, I tried to I tried to tie the hoses together so that way I kind of mitigated using the heat recorder altogether, but I couldn't do that. I didn't have any way of doing it. But <laughs> um, like I said, the uh, heater core is fine. The engine is fine as far as I know. I checked the oil. There's no coolant in the oil, so that means that the uh, they did not blow a head gasket, which is good. Um, there's some hoses, uh, not hoses. Well, I am going to replace every single heater hose on this vehicle, just because they're all 16 years old. They're not really showing any signs of cracking, but they are getting kind of kind of firm, and I don't really like that, um, especially the bigger hoses. Like this is. The one that goes directly to the top of the water pump and to the radiator. Uh, and then this one, this small one, goes to the radiator. And then it goes to the bottom of the intake. It goes to the throttle body, which you can't see. Um, but uh, if you're wondering why there's a coolant hose on the intake and the throttle body, it's because the throttle body will get cold. And if it gets too cold, it will freeze. So the hot coolant from the engine will cool it off to where it does not freeze. So if anybody ever wonders what that's for, that's what that's for. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to replace all the pulleys just because uh, I don't know if any of them have been replaced. Probably not. The alternator looks fairly new, so I'm not going to mess with it. The water pump I know is new. Uh, the idler pulley right here I don't know about. If it is new, I'll put it back. If not, I'll replace it. Uh, I will change the belts. It looks like the big belt right here for all the accessories was replaced. But I'm going to replace it myself so that I know when it was replaced. Uh, I think it's a continental belt. And then the smaller one for the AC. I know for a fact the belt's not been replaced because it's cracked. Um, I'm going to replace all the tensioners and all the idler pulleys like I stated. So... Not going to replace anything on the power steering pump because it's not making any noise. So we're good there. It doesn't whine or make any kind of racket. But uh, yeah. So I also need to replace the CV axles because they do uh, have a really bad clunk and they bind. So I need to replace those because I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. Like I went and drove this and I replaced both of the wheel bearings on both sides and the whole front suspension. And was still not figuring it out but then i realized this is four-wheel drive so that's what the issue is the, the cv axles that's the only other thing that would make the clunk i also ordered a the steering shaft bushing for underneath the dash it's that green plastic so uh just in case uh you didn't catch that because i have an iphone and siri decided to start talking so I ordered the bushing underneath the steering column uh, that go that the steering shaft goes into. It's that green piece of plastic. Uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like for those that are kind of shooting blanks. <clears throat> it's that piece of plastic right there that's a green. That's up there that the steering shaft goes through. 
because I have a rattle and I have a feeling that's what the rattling is, but I'm just going to replace it anyway, just because, um, but yeah, so I showed you the part numbers for the, uh, wheel bearings and hub assemblies showed you the part numbers for the hoses i explained what's going on um slowly but surely we're making it reliable um i'm probably going to replace the overflow tank or surge tank whatever you want to call it uh just because it's disgusting and i tried to flush it out and it didn't make it any better so i'm just going to replace it with a brand new one uh my brake fluid i know for a fact needs to be replaced because it's disgusting uh power steering fluid is fine i know that it's fine because it leaked so I know for a fact it's got new fluid in it. Um, but yeah, um, that's about it as far as right now anyways. So, and then I will go get an alignment. An alignment for mine is about 80 bucks. So, <clears throat> yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy. I uh, hope this helps. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.